What is strategic positioning? Strategic positioning means that your firm does something different. from its rivals in a way that adds value to their customers. Okay. So the idea is operational eff effectiveness was about basically lowering costs. You can increase your profits by lowering your costs. We can automate, we can do things faster, we can improve the quality, lower the number of defects, all the stuff that we focus on in operations. With strategic positioning, you're saying, we're going to do something better, and we're going to do something different. And you can do this in a variety of ways. One is you can specialize in what's called a market niche. Right? You can say we're only going to serve students. We specialize in this, whereas our competitors are generalized. Right? Maybe I saw uh, there was a company in Provo, Utah that was wisdom teeth only. Right? All they did was pulled out wisdom teeth. Why? Because in Provo, there's a lot of uh, young people going on missions who need their wisdom teeth re removed so that they don't worry about impacted teeth while they're in the mission field. So they were specialized, and not only were they specialized, but they were able to then focus their resources on doing that specific job better than anyone else. Okay? An example you're going to learn about in your textbook. So let me give you some examples. Okay. An example you'll learn about in your textbook is Fresh Direct. Fresh Direct decides to do something different in that they're not trying to compete. They're in the grocery store business in New York, but instead of trying to increase their profit margins by lowering costs in an industry with an already very, very low um, return on invested capital, they went ahead and said, look, we're going to do something different. Instead of having storefronts, we're, we're going to have a web store. Instead of having inventory that we have to distribute to our stores and then uh, sell to our customers, we're going to have everything centralized in a, in a central warehouse and distribute it from there. We're providing the same service to our customers. We're filling that same need, but we're doing it in a fundamentally different way. Okay. Um, so you're going to look at this. Southwest Airlines, when they first came out, they were competing lots of airlines. Airlines had built their networks of airplane routes based on what they call the hub and spoke model, which means you get some major cities, Chicago, Dallas, Los Angeles, and then those are the, the hubs, the central points, and then you go out from there to the smaller areas, largely. Okay, Southwest says, you know what? First of all, we're not going to focus on a nationwide approach. Second, we're not going to have a hub. So we're going to develop tools that allow us to basically bounce around the country and have these paths that we can use. Not only that, so we're going to go no hub and we're also going to go local. They focused, their original strategy was we're focusing on local commuters in the Texas area. So they were focused, they were doing, and they were on a specific market niche and they were doing something different in that they weren't using this traditional hub and spoke model. 
that was able to lower costs, add value to their customers, and allow them to focus in a way that they could gain a uh, strategic competitive advantage, sustainable competitive advantage against their rivals.